everybody, this is cndweb.com and today I want to talk about how to check if the user is connected to Facebook with PHP and this video is based on our blog post uh, the link to the post you can find in this video description so, uh, a Facebook application is all about giving its users a uh, personalized experience. So, that is why authentication and session verification is an important aspect of the Facebook application development process. Okay, so I think we should better go to the PHP code. And... Uh, to complete our task, we will have two PHP files, index.php and config.php. Config.php contains application ID string and uh, application session key string. So you have to include uh, config.php file into index.php file and let's see what happens next okay uh, at first we're trying to get user ID uh, if user uh, is not logged in or the application is not authenticated so the user id variable will be equal to zero uh, if the session exists uh, so we need to check if it uh, still valid or has expi expired uh, for this purpose we call facebook graph api uh, url graph dot facebook dot com slash me and this me contains uh, uh, the session data of the active user and uh, if the invalid session was detected so we uh, will be redirected to authorization URL given by uh, the get login URL function and if everything is okay so we will get a success message user is logged in and has a valid session okay so let's see how it works in real life okay let's open the browser uh, let's paste the Facebook application URL okay so I get redirected to Facebook page and I need to log in okay so I log in with my data and here we have uh, application authorization uh, window and I have to authorize this uh, application to use my basic uh, account information so okay I, I will let this application to do that so I simply click go to app button okay and that's all I get the success message user is logged in and has a valid session and um, you can try this uh, PHP code by yourself so you can download uh, these files uh, from our blog and don't forget to change application ID and secret key in config.php file and of course you have to remember that uh, Facebook 
changes its uh, API very often. So this code is valid and runs pretty well today, but who knows uh, what changes to Facebook API will bring tomorrow. So, so just take a notice about that. Okay, so you can try this code, use it for your own purposes. And um, if you have any questions, so feel free to contact us. So good luck.